The fastest vehicle made on Earth, inhabited by humans is International Space Station, moving at about 7.6 km per second. A very high speed but when compared to the Lorentz factor, this high speed is still very small that is needed to produce any significant effect, in measurement of time and space relatively. For earthly conditions, this speed can be treated as superhumanly, but when we're talking about galactic enterprises or aliens attacking different planets, we need to move as fast as the speed of light. According to Einstein's mass-energy equivalence, energy is directly proportional to mass and vice versa, so as soon as we start to get closer to the speed of light, the energy required to further accelerate, keeps on increasing to such large value, that acquiring the speed of light is an impossible feat for modern physics, but again science fiction provides a solution for this. Popular science fiction series and later movies of franchise Star Trek, showed spaceships were using a new technology, that enabled them to travel at the speed of light, and thus reaching any place in the vast cosmos in just a moment of time. What was that technology, and can we somehow achieve the speed of light? Let's understand it in this video. My name is Kyle, and you're watching the world of science. Star Trek proposes a new drive system called Warp Drive. The term and theory was first visualized by novelist John Campbell, in his 1931 novel, Islands of Space. Warp denotes here the warping of the space around the spaceship. A spaceship catching the speed of light is impossible, although the speed limit of light is not just any speed, but the speed of causality itself. Any object moving around in the fabric of space and time cannot achieve this, but guess what? This limitation is not applicable to fabric itself, that is the spacetime. Instead of propelling the spaceship at the speed of light, we can warp the space around the spaceship, thus connecting two distant points in the space and covering that distance at normal speed. This proposal does not break any theories of relativity, or causality, and faster than light speed is achieved. Without increasing the kinetic energy of the ship, the warped space is used to move the spaceship inside it. Interestingly, Star Trek goes into the detail of this. They coined a new term, called the warp factor, and this term denotes the magnitude of the warp field around the spaceship. The value of warp factor denotes the speed which has been achieved. For example, warp factor 1 denotes the breaking of the light speed barrier. Warp factor 2 is equal to 8 times the speed of light, and so on. To increase the value of the warp field, they use a phenomenon called the slingshot effect. Spaceship travels at a very high warp velocity near a massive star, and the gravitational force of the star, allows the spaceship to gain enough speed to follow a slingshot path, that will push the star to enter a time warp, and the ship can go any point in the temporal dimension. To generate enough energy required for the propulsion of the ship, and warping the space around it, the spaceship has a warp core that is similar to a nuclear reactor, in which matter and antimatter are allowed to collide at high speed, and thus producing a huge amount of energy. Up to 1990s, this warp drive was just another fictional concept, an imagination of the author, but in 1994, a Mexican physicist Miguel Alcubierre, suggested a new solution of Einstein's field equation, and proposed a new method of faster-than-light travel, that uses a similar approach like Star Trek. He proposed that faster-than-light travel is possible, only if the energy density requirement around the spaceship, is lower than that of vacuum energy, that is the negative energy density. Let's understand this. Positive matter generates positive pressure and gravitational field, which attracts another matter according to the universal law of gravitation. But negative matter produces a negative pressure that changes the structure of spacetime. Negative matter will produce an anti-gravity effect required to push the space around, and using definite arrangement of negative energy field, space around the spaceship can be curved to form a bubble of spacetime. Rather than increasing the speed of the spaceship, 
Warp drive will contract the space in the front of the ship, and expand the space behind the ship. This ship is enclosed inside the bubble of forward contracting space and backward expanding space. The time experienced inside the warp bubble is similar to the time experienced in non-relative cases, and thus the ship would move at the speed slower than the speed of light. But since space can move at any particular speed, using the negative energy density, warp drive can increase the speed of space contraction and expansion, and can thus achieve faster than light travel. It is not the ship that is moving towards the destination, but the destination is coming towards you at speed more than the speed of light. NASA has been involved in the study of Alcubierre Drive, and in 2018 the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency made some announcements regarding the methods being studied to achieve faster than light travel, and interestingly warp drive was one of them. There are multiple news reports in recent days about the development of models based on Alcubierre Drive. Is there a future for faster than light travel in interstellar voyage? Maybe far away in the galaxy, some alien civilization has been cruising and racing on it. Just think about it. Comment below your thoughts on this crazy technology, and how long do you think it would take mankind to develop such modes of interstellar and intergalactic travel? Do check out our magazine Cosmos Now, which is apparently India's first independent astronomy magazine. Check description or visit our website www.thecosmosnow.com for more information. Make sure you subscribe the World of Science for more such interesting videos. Until next time, stay scientific.